Hey guys, and welcome to my full comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 on the left versus the A5 2016 on the right. So in this video, we'll be comparing them, talking about them, should you upgrade, and basically this video is like a answer video, you know? So we're also gonna be taking a look at some camera sample as well, see what kind of improvements we have. So first off, if we talk about the price, uh, the A5 2016 is now gone to like some like 280 something price. Uh, the A5 2017 is costing $440, $430. So uh, there's about $100 difference, uh, $120 difference between these two phones in terms of price. So the big changes that they have brought with the A5 2017 is number one, performance. It has been improved a lot. If you guys have watched my speed test comparison that I've been doing lately, the A5 2017 is really good. Um, and the RAM measurement, especially the RAM measurement that, that was the issue with the A5 2016 is now and fixed with the 2017 model and it's absolutely right with the top phones, you know. I compared it with the S7, with the iPhone 7 Plus. I mean, this is a great, great device, like almost like a Galaxy S7 Lite edition minus the quad edge display and that awesome camera. So overall, I would say performance is the main, main thing that they've improved. Uh, then comes the design, obviously, um, as a Galaxy S7 owner, I I love this. And uh, with the addition of new cool colors, I mean, this is definitely uh, a huge improvement. It feels a, a lot premium device. Uh, some people do prefer the old design. That's perfectly fine. So it's also quite attractive, uh, this, uh, this boxy look. And then we have this uh, gloss and metal on the sides. Uh, but this one is like, I mean, like their flagship device, you know, taking all the elements from the S7 and putting it in their in their mid-range phone. So I have to say it is improvement there as well. Third is the software. So you can see a big change and uh, pretty much all the Note 7 features are here. And this phone will obviously get NuGet uh, pretty soon. So they also added uh, the... Um, water resistant capability so now it is 35 ip68 so uh, just like the s7 you can put this one in water i, I actually put it in coca-cola as well so it's working absolutely fine the speaker is like super immune to water i mean liquid uh, when you put it and you play music like i tested out i mean it was really clear and loud so i have to say uh, these are like the major three improvements we have compared to the older model. So the display is actually the same. It's so a 5.2 inch 1080p Super AMOLED. Uh, really, you can't ask for anything better than this. I mean, it looks super good. And this is the older one. Of course, they added this uh, always on mode with this new display, which works pretty fine. Uh, and um, yeah, it shows you some important information. So you don't really have to unlock your phone. Uh, that is something that was exclusive to their top end phones. But now it's coming to, uh, you know, the A lineup. So may I actually come to the J7 2017 edition as well. So not sure about that at the moment. So you can see the software here side by side. Uh, this is the older, I mean, both phones are running Android 6.0.1, but the, but the UI has changed. This is how it, it looks like, uh, the quick setting comparison. And much, much cleaner look here. When we go into the main settings, uh, you can see that it is a lot more easier to operate now. Like with each uh, settings, you get uh, a kind of like an icon on the side, so you can easily navigate. You have device maintenance for for clearing up all the useless stuff that accumulates on your device. It will make your phone faster. So I mean, really, uh, some improvements are uh, there. Now under the hood, we have Exynos 7880 processor, uh, which is a, like I said, it, it provides huge, huge improvement compared to the A5 2016. So I mean, performance wise, like I said, it's the main improvement and it's definitely worth upgrading uh, to the A5 2017 model. Uh, the RAM management is super, super good, something that is truly important to me. And um, I mean, this one can also be good, but Samsung is like having like a cap on this phone. Like it can't, perform better like apps that close in the background it's like no way uh, it can beat the a5 2017 with the latest optimization and everything so um let's talk about the camera so 16 megapixel on the back 13 over here so a little bit improved like i told you in before in my earlier videos that uh, this is like basic samsung strategy the 16 megapixel camera provides a little bit better pictures in certain conditions like in in most of the time you, you won't be able to notice 
that much of a difference and uh, and the front camera is 16 megapixel as well so i mean selfie wise there's definitely a huge upgrade there but back camera really i, I don't see like a huge change i mean picture quality wise i would say both phones are quite close to each other and really i mean camera i don't consider camera like a huge um huge huge point to upgrade so um the we have f1 1.9 aperture and uh, you can call it 1080p videos uh we're using both phones still no 4k also we talked about the battery samsung galaxy a5 2017 comes with a 3000 main power cell which is a little bit bigger compared to the 2900 we have here on the a5 2016 model so I would say battery performance is uh, is like for me it lasts up to one day easily like both phones last up to one day easily uh, without breaking a sweat but uh, the standby time is definitely improved here with the A5 2017 uh, doesn't drop the points uh, faster you know like the, the, the like the older 2016 model here so yeah a little bit improved battery life but again uh, like I said the main three three huge changes is basically the performance uh, the build quality and the software. So these are the three three new additions here. Um, if you have the A5 2016, I would say if you upgrade, then you're gonna have a great experience. Like this is one of those phones that you, when you read the specs, you don't really um, perceive that you're gonna that it's gonna be a great phone, but it is a great phone. Uh, provides you pretty much everything that you need. Uh, you know with that price um, yeah I mean really some things are lacking like it can't record 4k uh, but again that's Samsung you know that is Samsung they don't truly give you everything but they provide you with their flagship phone so this is how they they roll so it's a good looking phone and if you uh, use it you know with care it will have like a good resale value as well you have great colors so again the upgrade is just solely upon your your preference you know uh camera wise i don't really see a huge change there but performance softer and the design is just is just so good on this one so yeah this was a full comparison between the a5 2016 versus the 2017 model i hope you guys have enjoyed it i'll be doing some more comparisons as well i'm not done with this phone i will be putting this one against uh, the Honor 8, uh, that would be a great comparison because Honor 8 is also coming at right about the same price as this one. So it will be fun to compare it with that one. So uh, let me know if you want some more specific uh, comparisons with any specific device. Let me know that as well. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.